Hello everyone, I'm Rusty Dunn, joined today by Caterpillar Chief Financial Officer Andrew Bonfield, here to review the company's third quarter financial results. And Andrew, it's become our quarterly tradition. Good to see you again, how are you? Great to be here, Rusty, as always, and great to see you again. Well, I know you always like to put a descriptor on the quarter at hand, uh, also, also acknowledging uh, how hard our employees are working around the world. Yes, again, it's been a really strong operating performance across the businesses this quarter. Again, a testimony to our employees globally uh, who are working really hard to make sure they're meeting our customers' needs. Uh, some really interesting numbers to, to talk about and highlight. Let's start with top line sales and revenues from the third quarter. Yeah, sales and revenues were up 1.8 billion or 12% to 16.8 billion. It was driven by price and volume. Overall, across all three primary segments, we saw good sales growth in the quarter as well. How'd that translate then to the bottom line, of course, profit per share? Profit per share for the quarter was $5.45. That included seven cents of restructuring charges. On an adjusted basis, it was $5.52, so marginally below where we were in the, in the second quarter, but 40% above where we were this time last year. So really strong performance, driven obviously by that sales growth, helping us, helping to expand our margins, uh, continuing to invest though behind our strategic priorities as we focus on long-term profitable growth for the business. So as you take those numbers, Andrew, and lay out the balance sheet, what do you see? Really strong performance on a free cash flow basis, $2.9 billion of free cash flow for the quarter, $6.8 billion year to date. We've returned $4.1 billion so far year to date through a mixture of share buybacks and dividends to our shareholders. And at the same time, we have a very strong cash position of $6.5 billion on our balance sheet. So just an excellent quarter. We'd urge everyone to read the full press release and really dig into some, some of those numbers. But I know every quarter you love to go beyond the numbers. And this quarter, talking a little bit about uh, Cat Digital and the company's digital transformation and our efforts in the e-commerce space, you recently had a great conversation with one of the leaders, uh, one of the folks making it happen in Cat Digital. Let's watch that conversation. Hello everyone. Today I'm at our Cat Digital offices in downtown Chicago and I'm talking to Brent Steffen, who's our Director of E-Commerce and Digital Marketing. Hello Brent. Hello Andrew. It's great to be here. Brent, we've been on an e-commerce journey for many years at Caterpillar. Perhaps you can give a little bit of an explanation of what we've been doing and why it's so important to us as a company. Sure. We're accelerating development across multiple e-commerce solutions to make it easier for our customers to find and buy parts online 24-7 from wherever they are. I think at Caterpillar, our opportunity here is pretty significant because today, many of our customers are not yet taking advantage of our e-commerce solutions. From a business perspective, our data suggests that customers that buy online from their dealer, in addition to over-the-counter, are more loyal to Caterpillar and they increase their share of wallet with us. And that's why e-commerce is such an important part to our services growth strategy. Brent, can you talk a little bit about some of the versions of e-commerce platforms that we have and then how you decide what features to, to put in each different version? The short answer is our customers tell us. Before we spent any time with software development on our e-commerce acceleration, we spent a lot of time with customers across all the industries we serve all around the globe. And from this, we gained some incredible insights on the features and functions our customers are looking for us to design and build. I'll give you an example uh, that we're doing for our retail customers or our smaller customers. So think about like a, a landscaper or agriculture. These customers typically, their equipment doesn't accumulate as many hours as that of a larger construction customer or mining. So therefore, they don't need to buy parts as frequently. So one of the reasons that they're not buying more online is because they don't have the confidence that they can find the right part for their specific serial number. And I get it. We have over one and a half million parts in our e-commerce catalog. So what are we doing for these customers? We now put QR codes on all of our machines and engines. We make it really easy for our customers to use their phone, scan that QR code, and be directed to parts.cat.com, where they're greeted with a curated experience very specific to their serial number. And this really builds customer confidence in the online channel. But I've got one more example for you. We recently introduced a new mobile app. It's called Cat Central. And it takes all of this serial number specific content with a streamlined parts purchasing experience. And then we match it with links to many of our services. 
And that does mean data becomes really, really important because you're integrating data from a variety of different sources to help the customer actually be more successful. We absolutely are. Here's a quick scenario. So imagine you're a customer, you're online, and you're looking at a windshield wiper motor for your skid steer. With analytics, our data tells us that customers that buy that windshield wiper motor also frequently buy a wiper arm, a wiper blade, and a gasket. So we now serve this data up to our customers. We're personalizing parts recommendations based upon what other customers are browsing for and buying. And the benefit to the customer is that they now have access to all the parts needed to complete a repair. And particularly for our small retail customers, that is really important because obviously they don't always have the time to go to the dealer to go and actually wait there at the desk and wait for the parts counter to be able to find the exact right exact part. They can do it all seamlessly online. That's exactly right. That's, that's the target audience we're after with some of these capabilities. Perhaps you can tell us what's next in the e-commerce journey. When I look at our e-commerce journey, I think we're succeeding. In the last 12 months alone, we've doubled the number of customers transacting online. So we think with that growth, we're on the right track. Because at the end of the day, when our customers are more productive with our digital tools, they tend to be more loyal to CAT, and that's a win for everybody involved. Really appreciate the explanation. It's important for us as a company, as you know, as it's part of our delivery of our target of doubling services growth by 2026. Thank you, and thank you for sharing the time with us today. You're welcome. Thank you, Andrew. So great conversation, Andrew, really a sense of urgency in the digital transformation space. Yes, so even though most people think about Caterpillar as very large, big machines, digital is really important for us. It's a really important way of us connecting to our customers and actually helping make their life easier by being able to order through digital tools and techniques, which you would expect as you would see with any other great company around the world. Excellent. Andrew, great to see you, appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Rusty. And thanks to all of you watching. As always, be safe in everything you do. Have a great day.